My name's Nick Dearden, I'm from the World Development Movement and I'm here to speak at a meeting tonight with Molly Scott Cato who's one of your candidates um, for uh, the MEP seat in the South West and we're going to be speaking about corporate power in the world and in Europe and what it means and how we can change our society only by changing um, and challenging um, that, that power, that economy which is run for a very small minority of people in our society, in our world. It's a meeting about corporations and how much they're interfering with political power really how much does the power of corporations mean we don't live in a democracy so I'm going to be talking about things like finance and um, you know how we haven't really got a grip on the finance corporations and how that makes it very difficult to achieve anything we want to achieve politically and I'm going to talk about land grabbing in the developing world and the fact that agribusinesses are now basically buying up the world using their hedge funds and I'm going to talk a bit about the carbon bubble and why we're not reducing carbon emissions because again corporate interests are sort of blocking that from happening and all the tussling that's going on there so I think that'll be enough for me to say. <laughs> I'm sure that one of our really big concerns at the moment is the series of trade agreements that's being negotiated around the world and especially what's called the Transatlantic um, Trade and Investment Partnership which is basically the deal between the European Union and the United States which although it's called a trade agreement really has very little to do with trade it's actually about um, corporate rights and corporate protection um, as opposed to our rights as citizens of this part of the world um, to enjoy decent, um, healthy, good quality food, um, to be able to protect our environment and to be able to protect pe the people in our society um, from corporate so-called investment coming in um, and taking over our public services and our society and undermining our democracy. So it's something that it sounds uh, very far away, the Transatlantic Trade and Investment Partnership, but actually it's one of the really key pieces of uh, legislation, I suppose, if you like, that will be facing us in the coming year that ordinary citizens need to get up and make their voice heard on um, and to oppose and to challenge because we will be told this is all about jobs, this is all about growth in Europe, this is a way to uh, get us out of the recession um, that happened in 2008, 2009 and, and beyond. Be uh, but, but, but ironically, hands power to exactly the same vested interests that created um, that recession. And actually, what we're saying is we want a different world and a different Europe. Recession uh, around corporate power um, is really uh, great for me because um, World Development Movement essentially challenges this economic system, which can be summed up as corporate power. I mean. Um, in Occupy, people summed up as a, in a different way as the economy of the 1%. Um, but however you want to sum it up, we're talking about an economy that is run in the interests of a small minority of the world's population. And this model, which has been running um, at full pelt now for 30, 35 years, has brought with it, it's not just about who controls power in the world, it's that the impact of that is absolutely enormous inequality. I mean completely without precedent in history. I don't know if people saw uh, a month ago the report that Oxfam put out which suggests that 85 people in the world control half of the world's yeah. wealth. Unbelievable. The number of people you could fit on a, on a passenger jet control half the world's wealth. And, it, and all manner of other injustices including, as Molly said, um, the undermining of our own democracy here in Europe. I think the world's become much more complicated in, in, in some ways than that today. Um, but the positive thing is we don't just need to think about it's us giving charity to them over there because it's so obvious that it's the very same model uh, that's creating problems in our own society as is creating problems um, in Africa, Latin America um, and Asia. And even. What corporations are arguing very, very hard for um, is that these standards need to be harmonised. And by harmonised, we really mean a race to the bottom. We mean a lowering of those standards to, the, to, to, to where it is lowest between America um, and the EU. And that's why, exactly as Molly says, there are concerns that we could soon be importing chlorinated chicken or hormone-fed um, beef. Um, that we could be forced um, to, take the, to take energy products which are the result of fracking. Um, in the United States. And it works the other way as well. So investment banks on Wall Street have been rubbing their hands about TTIP because they see it as a way of getting rid of the financial regulations that were brought in in the United States post-crash, the so-called Frank Dodd reforms, um, which are more restrictive 
than the legislation that we have in, in Europe at the moment. They're seeing this as a great way to get out of that and to get rid of those um, standards. So it works both ways. Do you know what? Finding out about TTIP would be a very useful thing. It's the new secret US-EU trade treaty that's being negotiated. People don't know about it. It's supposed to be secret. Last time this happened, we had the multilateral agreement on investment about the turn of the century. We got rid of that because we found out about it. Stuff was leaked. We spread the word. That's what we've got to do this time as well. Once people know what that treaty's about, they're going to be really against it. And isn't that something the Greens are doing in the EU at the moment? Greens are fighting in the EU, but none of the other political parties are. And so, you know, for example, all the stuff we have to protect us in Europe, like keeping GMOs out, um, you know, strong welfare standards for animals, those sorts of things will come in by the back door through a trade treaty with the US where they have much lower standards. That's really what the corporations want to achieve and that's why we've got to spread the word about why it's wrong, publicise it and then we'll be able to stop it. So, um, World Development Movement is going to launch its campaign tomorrow um, against this corporate power grab. So you can sign up, sign the postcard to your local MP. Um, but also, over the next two months, we're going to be getting local people to organise hustings in their local areas, getting all of their MEP candidates together um, and questioning them about what their policies on trade and investment are. And essentially, are you a candidate for the people of Europe or are you a candidate for the small vested interests, the corporate power in Europe? So you can go online and do that wdm.org.uk. Thank you.